your typical day in London. <laughs> along on a typical day in my life in London. It's been a long time coming. I've lived here for five months now. I don't know what took me so long. I guess settling into routine and getting used to my life here. Now I can actually have a typical day to talk about, I guess. Normally I wake up at 5.30 in the morning if I don't have work. So I go to a physical location job two times, max three times a week. And then the rest of the week I'm working for myself. So I can't really have a productive day if I don't at least to move my body first thing in the morning. I find it massively helps me with my productivity throughout the day. I love to just wake up, get a quick workout done and I just feel so much better going into the day so that's what we're doing now <laughs> anyway we have to go to the gym so let's go say guys most days I really don't even feel like going to the gym but I just find if I just get up and don't think about it it just creates a momentum for me that once I'm out of the gym I just feel so much more positive and better about my day moving forward I feel like I've created a momentum that I could actually uphold whereas if I don't get out if I don't move my body first thing in the morning I just don't feel as energized and motivated to go throughout my day so do your best to wake up and move your body makes you feel good gray as usual but I see a little bit of blue so let's hope it's a nice day 
I like to just get dressed even though I work from home I still like to feel like I'm at work I don't know I think it just makes me more productive I think it's about time for a coffee <laughs> Guys, I just want to say if we have any content creators watching this or even just anybody that needs like a good scheduling system, I discovered this newest site called Asana. This isn't sponsored at all, but I thought it was super useful and just wanted to share it really quickly. It's just, honestly, it's been a lifesaver for me. I have ADHD and so my organization skills are terrible, but... This site just honestly makes it super easy. I love the calendar feature, just scheduling all the things that I have to do. I usually schedule two to three weeks in advance and I can move things around, check things off the list, and it's just super satisfying. Um, so yeah, if anybody's looking for like a good scheduling software, I guess, or just a scheduling Anywhere to schedule your content or things that you have to do, Asana is amazing. So just thought I'd let you in on that. While this is exporting, I'm gonna go make some breakfast because I basically can't do any work until this is done, so. Shout you and your wisdom from the rooftops. Thank you. Most people have seen you on TV for spidey sense that you have this lightning speed when it comes to your intuition and reading danger signals and really creepy vibes from people. Behavior, how to spot someone's love on Friday, my phone rang. Jane Piper, this is Maggie Barnes the Rachel Ray Show, and I said, swear to God, I'm going to call Jane Work is pretty much done with for the day. I can do a bit more later. I usually do the most important things at the start of the day and I really like, for some reason, I don't know why, like I love getting my work done in the morning, but I also really love working at night too. So I did the most important stuff, got it out of the way, and now I just wanna kind of enjoy my day outside today. I think I'm gonna take a walk to Greenwich Park. Well, maybe through Greenwich Park because I did wanna go to Greenwich Market. I've been living here for, what is it, six months now, and I've never been, and it's like a 40 minute walk from my house. So yeah, I'm excited to do that. We'll see what it's all about. About. I've heard really good things about it. I heard it's one of the nicest markets in London So yeah, really excited that it's like just a short nice walk from my house So I find since moving here I haven't really explored London a lot and I'm really excited to do that today just a bit especially like around my neighborhood I haven't really explored too much. It sounds crazy, but I've either been working indoors or at the gym or at work like I'm really I haven't really taken the time to really explore London so it's just so expensive to do anything here but I realized recently that there's so many free things I could do especially in my neighborhood I find when I got here I was really excited and then I think just the whole stress of settling into a new place and it was just also very overwhelming because 
it's London so you have a lot going on here and I think it took me a lot longer to actually adjust to just London itself and the culture. I didn't think I would experience such a culture shock moving here but it's just a different kind of pace and yeah it's mostly just getting used to the pace of everything. I find that I just realized that I am really craving living somewhere more quiet and peaceful and just more surrounded by nature. I think London will definitely do that to you if there's another plane it's really hard to get peace and quiet here in london like that's exactly what i mean but i'm really excited to just get out of my shell winter's over and summer's here it just makes me feel more alive and excited to just explore and get out there more so yeah i'm super excited we're gonna go for a walk to greenwich market i don't know we'll see where the day takes us so let's just go My mom actually gave me this necklace right before I left and I wear it every day. If you're watching this, I love you mom. Also, I haven't been wearing any makeup lately and my skin I think is the healthiest it's ever been. I'm also just happier. Sometimes I'll put on mascara if it's a special day. I think today I'm gonna wear a bit of mascara, but I used to wear like the full works, the foundation, the highlighter, mascara, eyebrow, filler, everything. And it gets nice, but I find just going for a long period of time without makeup, it just feels nice. And especially doing this vlog, I I couldn't even imagine vlogging myself or just being on camera and sharing this with you guys with no makeup on. I, if, if you told me like just two, three months ago that I was doing this, I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> but yeah, maybe just a little overshare. But yeah, it just feels really nice to, I don't know, embrace my natural skin, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, today we're gonna wear a little mascara because why not? forgot the one crucial thing to have with you everywhere you go if you live in London, an umbrella. hot to have a jacket on but it's way too cold to not have a jacket on the struggle